Hey, welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day, and thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. Back with a new Magic the Gathering Arena standard best of one mythic rank deck. It's Naya Enchantments, the color combination of red, white, and green. A very pleasant mid-range deck to play, performing very nicely within the meta, and, uh, you know, providing just a ton of fun. In today's video, we'll break down the deck list, talk about the strategies and the synergies, demonstrating this within our mythic gameplay footage against the best decks and players in the world right now. And of course, we'll wrap up with our final thoughts deck review and pack opening. And would you look at that? That's a collector booster, baby. Woo! Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help support. You can also become a YouTube member, a Twitch supporter, or a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond and help make my dreams come true. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's take a look at the newest deck. Alrighty then, Naya Enchantments is the name of the game. 60 card standard, best of one, 2.4 average mana value, 24 lands to support the curve. We will be stacking enchantments to trigger uh, lots of things in the deck. Um, maybe I should start over here uh, with all will be one. You know, this is the card that we built the deck around, a new enchantment that, you know, I'm looking to get the most out of for five mana. Whenever you put one or more counters on a permanent or player, all will be one deals that much damage to target opponent creature uh, that opponent controls or planeswalker that opponent controls. So this is really nice. We will be accumulating in this deck lore counters through our sagas, as well as plus one plus one counters uh, through the playing of enchantments. All right, so uh, first and foremost, let's talk about those plus one counters within the deck. Generous Visitor for one mana as a one one. Spirit. Now that spirit creature type will be important. We'll get to that later. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. So again, helping buff up your own creatures with that plus one plus one whenever you play an enchantment, as well as now triggering all will be one. We have the Kami of Transients for two as a two two with trample whenever an enchantment tell uh, is cast. Put a plus one plus one counter on the Kami. And of course, uh, at the beginning of your end step, if Kami was in the grave and an enchantment was put into your grave as well from the battlefield this turn, you actually get to take that Kami back into your hand, which makes it great as an early game play to soak up your opponent's removal. Again, those plus one plus one counters will trigger all will be onesels. Now to our enchantments, our sagas will trigger through their lore counters and we're doubling down uh utilizing sagas that also apply plus one plus one counters to our creatures okay so first up we have kumano faces kaxan uh one mana dealing one damage to each opponent and each planeswalker they control plus it's a lore counter phenomenal and then whenever you cast your next creature spell it's going to enter the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it again triggering all will be one and then finally exile and transform into the etchings it's a 2-2 with haste and if something would die by a source you control it's actually going to be exiled instead which is quite nice oakley dokley and then we move into you can defense the temple for three mana first lore counter phenomenal then uh you know creating that one one monk that taps for green mana cool helping us ramp into hollowed haunting hell helping us ramp into all will be one uh, and then putting a plus one counter on two creatures you control. Great news for us. And then the Rising Star, which is just like the absolute powerhouse of the deck. Uh, it's going to transform. Again, that lore counter is accumulated. It's a 2-2 with flying. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control through the Rising Star, you get to pay X when you do put X plus one plus one counters on that creature. As many counters as you have mana for. And that's going to result into just a ton of damage. And then as long as you have five or more modified creatures, the Rising Star will have plus five, plus five, and trample as well, which is pretty ridiculous. So try to get creatures with the counters, even if it is just one. And that's uh, super accessible through the Hollowed Haunting. Um, so that's the ways that we have to apply plus one, plus one counters uh, to our creatures. We have a few more Sagas here, just for the lore counters. Uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, when it enters, make a 2-2, that 2-2 attacks, create a treasure, phenomenal. Discard and draw, helping us find the appropriate uh, goodies that we're looking for. And then finally, Exile and Transform into Kiki, uh, which can copy any non-legendary, uh, which we really, really like. Uh, again, a, another enchantment, of course, and that's going to power up the whole team, uh, which is quite nice. It's also another creature entering the battlefield, which would trigger the draw through um, the welcome, three mana. Whenever a creature with uh, mana value three or less enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card triggering only once each turn. 
Um, this is really easy. All of our creatures have mana value three or less, and we can create tokens, which again have zero mana to help us draw every single turn, which is really quite nice. Creating uh, those tokens, you know, we have Hollowed Haunting that creates spirit clerics whenever we play an enchantment. These spirits will have power and toughness equal to the number of spirits you control, which is cool because, again, we're making spirits here through the haunting, but we also have the Visitor, a spirit. We also have the Kami, which is a spirit, um, and then the Rising Star is a spirit as well. It's a dragon spirit, you see? Uh, so that's very cool. Katilda also a spirit, which is really nice. So uh, super tight synergy here through those spirits. And if you can accumulate a bunch of them, uh, you're actually going to gain flying and uh, vigilance as well, I believe, right? Uh, if you have seven or more enchantments, creatures you control have flying and vigilance, which is going to be really easy for us uh, to accumulate those enchantments. Keep in mind, you do have enchantment creatures that you can copy with the reflection of Kiki Jiki to get us to that seven point. Um, very, very nice. There's some exile here as well. Three copies of the Circle of Confinement. Creature, three or less. If it's a vampire and they play a vampire with that same name, we gain two life. Ooh, ooh. And then the borrow time for three. Uh, Non-land permanent. So you can take artifacts, enchantments, planeswalkers, as well as creatures too. So it's really, really nice uh, to take anything that your opponent has to played. Obviously, they're both enchantments, which see the cost reduction through the naturalist. A 2-2 with lifelink enchantment spells you cast cost two, uh, sorry, one less to cast. Uh, this is a non-legendary that you can stack reducing it by multiple. Uh, that's going to make the Hollow Taunting 3. That's going to make All Will Be 1 4. Um, really, really nice because, you know, we are reducing the cost of them as well as ramping with the 1 1 and creating treasures with the 2 2 Gobbo, uh, which works out quite nice. We have Michiko, Reign of Truth here. Until uh, end of turn, target creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact and enchantment that you control. We can put that on the Kami. We can, uh, for trample damage, uh, damage output, we can put it on the Naturalist or Katilda for life gain and sustainability. And then, of course, uh, Exile and Transform into the Portrait. It gets plus one plus one for each enchantment and artifact you control. Of course, when these Sagas are transforming, they will trigger the Welcome because their mana value is less than three, giving us the draw here again, which is nice. Protection in the deck through Tameo Safekeeping for one. Instant speed, indestructible, hexproof. We gain two life uh, on target permanent, so it can actually protect the haunting. It can protect all will be one, which is really, really nice within the deck. We do have an assortment of lands here to keep things consistent, as well as our utility lands um, to gain extra value later on in the game. That is the deck, and let me tell you what, we are having a ton of fun with this build. I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're gonna play some games now, and then after that, shred open the collector pack. So super excited for that and hopefully we can get some nice pulls. Cheers, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You can support also by uh, becoming a Patreon member, a Twitch Prime supporter, or a YouTube member, gaining access to our untapped profile so you can see all of our deck lists as we play them ahead of time before anyone else with their stats, with the edit path that I've made as I fine tuned it. So just, you know, expanding your knowledge uh, if, if you'd like and um, cheers, have a fantastic day. Let's play some magic. Going first, good land. Pretty slow for the first few turns, but what do you do? Just play a little bit slower. Protect that visitor with the safekeeping. Try to find a three drop. Actually, preferably two. Well, never mind. Kind of sucks using it so early, but what do you do? It removed now. <laughs> Great. We do have a hollow taunting on four and potentially an all will be one on five. Not ramping into it, which we like to do, but it's okay. The flesh doogie. Phenomenal card. Really good. And we do get that fifth land, which is well, it's not bad. I'll attack because I can't block. Oh, nice trade. Mine, unless you are taking it from the graveyard, of course. Is it a trespasser? No. Fifth land, invoke despair. Please don't. Oh, they're bringing it back already. It's uh, not a creature, it's not a planeswalker, so we get to hold on to it. I 
for two. They lose three life, but searching for whatever they want. And uh, I don't like that. So it's obviously an invoke despair. And I'm just going to sit here and cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, daddy, no! Oh, that sucks. We do get our Kami back, though, which is nice. And take this, Gix. And then they don't get their Flash Doogie back. Let's hit for 5 to 13. It's a start. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. No! Let me try to re just replay that from the grave. Lose the haunting. We have to keep our hands on that Gix. It gives them life gain, right? We don't want that. Nice! We won't have a sec uh, second white source. Okay. Let's just push up. If for six, that's not bad. Down to seven. Okay, here's a draw. Five available mana. Not the end of the world. I think we're good. Six land. Shieldred? Hmm, not bad. Plus a little single target on the Kami. Another buster. Draws are good for Shieldred. Okay, we're down to 21. I wish we had a third white source. That kind of sucks we don't. So this is going to give it flying. And plus four, which is just lethal, right? A good games to you. opponent goes first, we have not only really nice land, but a great 2-drop into a phenomenal 3-drop if we get that second white source. If not, I mean, we do have the welcome too. Start with the Kami. Cut down. That's fine, right? It's the removal magnet before the naturalist. Welcome out. I mean, they're only hitting for one, so it's not that bad. Looking for the second white source still. Arm hand is okay. I mean, maybe not. They probably are just looking to get ready for a farewell. <laughs> That sucks. Dang, bro. Ward is up. We still need that second white source. Oh, depopulate is in the mix. There's no creatures to take. That's a strict mill. 
No attacks our turn. Oh my lord. This is so bad. Thank you for the follow. I don't want to ramp them either. I will take the draw though. Okay. I'm gonna save this for next turn. The one ones can smash. It's pretty good. Drawing. Keep in mind they have depopulate. Thank you so much. Take a draw. Whew. Haunting active plus one counter on the naturalist. All attack Soren. Louis blocks here on the 1-1 one, one, and the 3-3. Three, three. Let's save this haunting in case they do farewell us. I think, right? Emperor is good, exiling the naturalist. Not bad. We kill it for the land. I don't think so. Not much of a roadblock. I will kill that though and get rid of your draw. You already have a billion land, so what's one more? So same here, right? Same, sames. Different, but sames. Okay. Let's take the draw. Take Soren down to two. I guess that's it. And turn. So here's definitely depopulate. Oh, without doubt, we've overextended already. Probably a farewell. Nothing on Innistrad. It, you know, free. you just grow to expect these things, right? Vraska. Wow. What are you going to do? They completed it because they do have a, a, a depopulate in hand, I think. Really? Oh, it's another emperor. Okay, nice. I see. They're going to take that 3-3, three, three, I believe. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. My judgment is final. We need to play enchantments to push this up. Hit four and Soren for three. Okay, we got them all. Perfect. Got the land. It's in play. Kill all these walkers. I think that's pretty good. Again, I don't, I don't want to overextend. I'd like to keep some juice in the hand. Send yes. You like yes, don't you? I mean, taking the draw is never bad. This is also a spirit, pushes up the team. Pretty 
house. Should we just push up? Because we know they don't have creatures. And this should be lethal. Good game. Yeah, it totally is. Nice. Right, just cast them for the triggers. Um, I don't think they're a deck that really plays any creatures other than the tokens that the Planeswalkers might make. All right, let's keep seven. The hand looks really nice. Land is good. Thicket one, forest two with a naturalist. Okay, mono red. I'm going to keep the naturalist in hand for one turn so it just doesn't immediately get removed and then we can protect it with safekeeping via the thicket. So far, so good. So I basically just let this damage through and try to hit with our Reign of Truth. If I block, you know, the way the sequencing plays out is unless they're tapped, unless they're tapped. which they are. I'm taking it. We already have Indestructible for the turn, but they could do it on our upkeep. Never thought of that. Right, play a land, which they didn't get, wow. So we have three. All right, just get as much life gain as we can here. Thermogy goes buff. Stacking uh, enchantments. Nice. Seven life is no joke against Mono Red. Obviously, you know, it gets dunked on. Gets absolutely slayed, but it was going to anyways. Yeah. It happens. At least we have a draw engine. It's going to give us a double, well, I guess it's single, it's once per turn, but... One draw is still good. There's an impulse. So I have two. They find a third land and another damage, which is going to be three, five damage total. Down to 16. Make it the scry as well. Not a land, but we'll take it. Land off the top here, I hope. Thank you. I'll hit. I'll smash. Down to smash. <laughs> oh, the warfare hitting us for three to 13. Not we wicked ass blocker. All right, here's one damage. There's a 
draw. Ooh, spicy. There's a secondary damage. And then we hit for lethal. Uh, good game to you. All right, so land is here. It's a little slow, but I guess we can keep it. I want to get value from these visitors right away. Wouldn't mind them playing a creature. Oh. Front door. Phenomenal. I'm just going to take that buster. Cut off their draw. Hopefully they don't play a shouldered here. Trespasser is pretty good. I think we're going to discard Katilda. Oh, good for you. Hopefully they don't have another trespasser. They shouldn't, but, you know, probably do. Not quite. We're only two dropping anyway, so we may as well get the plus one counter out of it. Another. You're sick. Get help. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a good play. <laughs> Dude, what's mine say? Reduces Katilda to four. Don't kill my naturalist. I'll freak out. It's probably invoked despair. Why wouldn't it be? It just makes sense. You're not hardcore unless you live hardcore, all right? No blocks. They know we're going to Katilly. But what they don't know is this. An organic version for two. Gain some of that life back. Let's go. Okay. This isn't the worst. I mean, it's obviously not good, but it's doable. If we can just like get by for a couple turns, you know? Uh-oh. Why do you need six mana? Invoke only costs five. So it's got to be a corrupt, right? Corrupt on Katilda, but it only hits for five. And they've realized this now. Good game. Good game. Going first with uh, what would be bad hand, but we have Kiki Jiki. So it's not the worst. All right, we just are looking for a third land of any color. That goblin can generate the fourth, and then, you know. Rolling out. We do miss our drop here, which is sad, but whatever. Attack for 
too. Kiki, I imagine the goblin gets wrecked, but we still go for it. Their own Kiki. I say we go for it. Make the treasure. Take their goblin so they can't get a treasure. Also, not really bad if they happen to kill it. Alright, it's just a dead card in play now. So I guess they're going to look for a Brotherhood's End. Not a fan. Shouldered on turn four? Say it ain't so. Keep the naturals back. I need the cost reduction. Uh, you know, we do get four damage through. We do lose a Kamano. Push up our Kami of Transients. Now Shieldred, Kiki Jiki. Do what they're meant to do. Draw discard's really nice for them here. Ooh. I like to slam this, most definitely. Is this equal to the number? No, no artifacts. <laughs> Just enchantments, which we can make a bunch of, right? We should be able to hit for lethal if they don't kill Katilda, if they don't wipe our whole field. They're gaining four life here for sure. Ouch. So maybe we don't have lethal. That's so much life gain. Okay. They're looking for a field wipe, I guess. I guess maybe that helps. That takes them back down to 14. No attacks. And I think we'd like to... Copy Kiki, and then the Naturalist is our last copy, right? Then we get Flying, which is definitely going to help, dude. We lose some life here. I think we just slam it, don't we? Good game. Oh, we love it. Shouldered? Not this time. All right, we get to go first. On a pretty good opening hand, too. Not too sharpy. I think we can definitely get away with this.
Hello. Hello. Good game. Good game. So the visitor is easy to sneak in because it's one mana. So we're going to leave that in hand, right? It's a salt eye deck. Green, blue, and black. Um, okay. I guess that doesn't matter. I've been screwed so many times by the auto tapper though that sometimes I just gotta make sure it's right. Let's push up the Kami too. Spread the butter, right? Nobody likes, you know, their toast without like if there's a patch without any jam or butter, right? You got so you make sure it's all spread out evenly. We well, yeah, sacrifice the creature that's not able to attack, maximizing our damage output. <laughs> Roots for a land. I mean, you want one of mine? Which one? I'll trade you. <laughs> All right, they've got two mana up here. We're moving our naturalist with the Terra Sunder, as it is actually an enchantment. All right, let's push up our creatures. And for eight, which is decent, down to six. Pretty nice um, field here. They're gonna make it so the Kami can't attack. Right? <laughs> Too slow. Nice. That allows us to kill Kato. Beautiful. And best of all, they're not hitting us with a farewell this turn. I'm surprised. We went first. We had a really nice opening hand. Only ran into, you know, a little bit of removal. Good game. Push up the team, one damage to our opponent, one damage to our opponent, one more damage to our opponent. And then don't forget draw a card. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Dude, you gotta stop. This is just lethal. We don't even have to attack, but we would be hitting for a batch. One more damage, one more damage, one more damage. I'm gonna do the Chico first. Huzzah! <laughs> so this is 18 extra damage. Phenomenal. Going first with, well, what isn't good land, but is all right land. It's slow. Doesn't get the natural, just plays it. No mana hack dot exe. <laughs> Looking for a untapped green, untapped white. That would be ideal. Um, and any third, just a third land in, in general would be great too. So I'm gonna play that Kami uh, again because if it is removed, we can gain it back into our hand from the grave. Um, and that's good value in the long run. Unless they flame blessed bolt it into exile, that's obviously an option. Mm-hmm. Logging into Twitch stream and No, I'm kidding, something else came up. Their cat wanted a pet. It's so easy to be impatient with people. 
Bloodthirsty Adversary coming in hot. We have just the card for that. Oh, we get the third land too, which is not the greatest. <laughs> Okay, let's... Generous Visitor. It's not the worst, actually. Um, plus one counter on our Visitor. On our little Squizzerl. It's a Spirit, but you know that this is a Squirrel. Look at the acorns. That's how you tell. And it's got the, it's got the tail, too. Harvester active. Visitors at risk. Say let's hit him with the goblin. Push to three. We're gonna wait and push it to four before we do anything. Oh, they can get it now. Dang, I should have just attacked. That's a good play. I want the land. Let's attack, make the treasure. Really? That's interesting. They're definitely going to kill this. Let's just keep making mana dorks, maybe. They might be saving one for the fable, also, right? Six damage down to 12. That's actually fairly substantial. Okay, okay, okay. Unlimited harvesters now. Cool. Nice. It's actually not bad. Counters out. Land out. All will be one active. Make a treasure and then play the naturalist. Or do we save the naturalist and get these plus one counters on it? <sighs> yeah, I think that's the play. So, they have a nice field, 8 damage, they probably sack a Harvester to kill Kiki. We deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 damage potentially next turn. That could be good. I wish it was six. If five, if they kill a harvester themselves, then five is all right, I guess. Yeah, 
to three. Okay, down to two, I assume. If they take our Kami, nice. That's a really good play. We're just too far behind. I don't think we have 14 damage, do we? We had five. That gives him a good blocker. That is six. We don't have the discard. Let's do three. Get rid of the harvester. Swinging for eight, make a treasure. We can copy the naturalist. So as long as they can't just like directly kill us, which is possible, you know, more graveyard trespassers, right? Two cards in hand. Just guarding up a swamp here for a draw through blood token. Four available mana. They are doing it again. On a cliff, just another land. Three available mana, two cards in hand. Make the treasure to four, potentially. Copy the naturalist. Oh! That was an epic setup. Wow. That's crazy. That was nice sequencing. All right, so I'm gonna keep this. Even though it only has two land. We have three colors though. Ooh. Starting slow. Click on two. Oh, we should have played quickly the whole time. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. We don't have a two draw. <laughs> Probably just straight to the Fable. The Fable can try to ramp to all will be one. Hey! Don't do that. Katilda hiding behind me. Excuse me? Alright, so the, the gobble's gonzo. Discard Katilda, discard the Kami, draw some land. Battlefield out. Haunting out? Not the worst. Where's that fifth land.ca? <laughs> Not here. <laughs> I mean, let's just make a, uh, a ghost, you know? What do you do? 
and turn. Still looking for that fifth land. Kiki gets smashed. Yep. Always does. Well, it has to. If it doesn't, you've won. <laughs> okay. So even though I could increase the power of this card, I'm going to try to pull interaction first. All right, spend that mana, baby. So they don't. So we just go for it, and I would imagine here's a counter spell. Hmm. Interesting. Still no land. Stuck on four. I wish they'd play something. <laughs> Machiko is uh, transforming itself here. We will hit for four. Let them know that we have options. And we'll pass turn. Portrait is done. So they've got really nice removal here. That's their fourth piece. Come on on the land, dude. Hit for four. I mean, at least we have a clock. Right, lethal in three. Ooh. Discard and end, which means they must have another because that would kill both our creatures. That would be great. Galvanic iteration on another big score? Question mark, question mark. Well, we finally found our fifth land. I have to go right for Catilda, though. Do they have another corrupt? I bet they do. One, two, three, one, two, and five. So they'd be one land shy. Right? It's nine mana for the cast. Unless they have another Galvanic in hand. Oh, they just played another... Uh, that because... Yeah. Hmm. Good game. <laughs> Alrighty then. Loving nine enchantments. I think that All Will Be One is a phenomenal addition to the deck. Obviously, you know, we haven't made that many changes to what nine enchantments used to be. We did lose the rune package. But it is still an incredibly powerful quote unquote spirit tribal deck um really really liking defends the temple uh with it uh, you know it's one of those things where i could easily make an 80 card deck uh out of night enchantments it was so hard to cut and to trim uh to get it down to 60 cards like obviously i'd love to run four temples i'd love to run four kikis um but it's you know we need the welcome we need some draw you we have to have that top end the token generation we need the removal through the exile and we now we need protections so and then we also need the core of the deck right the visitor the naturalist the the transient so you know it's one of those things where it's like we've done our best to balance but i would super love your input how can we make it even better right so while you do that if you haven't liked and commented get after it uh we're gonna tear into this collector pack big money big money no whammies um looking for like uh phyrexian treatments uh elish nor or mondrak so let's get after it here. No art card. Ah, ah, here we are. The deck master. This will be a holographic sinew dancer, which I think should see more love. The slinger, also holographic. Most of the cards in the collector's packs are holographic. The gladiator, also holographic. Blade Mantis, same thing. 
the cranker, sorry, canker bloom. Ooh, this one's nice. The holographic void wing. Not too shabby by any means. I like the uh, the blue and purple, green, like the the oil uh, slick kind of look to the um, the card. Full art holographic swamp. Not a Phyrexian swamp, but nonetheless, still really nice. This is a holographic Phyrexian arena. That's pretty good. Not too shabby. All right, we have a full art non-holographic, right? So this is our first non-holographic, but it is full art. Uh, Mirix, which is really cool. We think Mirix is a phenomenal card. The fact that it comes in and can tap for any color is really cool. Skyhunter Strike Force for three, two, two with flying and melee. As long as you control your commander, other creatures you control also have melee. I don't know what melee is. Can someone in the comments let us know what melee is? A new mechanic, not in arena. That's a commander card. And when you buy the collector booster packs, you do get some of the commander cards. This is a alt art cultivator. Then we have a holographic alt art bone picker. Nothing too great. Oh, oh, hi. This is a full art, alt art, Phyrexian treatment, Tyvar, Jubilant Brawler. Oh my lord. That's pretty cool. Look at those symbols pop in. Sick. Very nice. Cannot complain. Are you serious? Then we get a full alt art Kato Dancing Shadow as well. Nice pack, dude. Two Planeswalkers in one pack? Are you serious? And then we get a full art holographic Mirage Mockery. Three mana, sorcery, choose one. Create a token that's a copy of target artifact creature you control. Create a token that's a copy of target non-artifact creature you control. Entwine for three. Again, Entwine and Melee. I don't know what these keywords do. Someone let me know in the comments below. And then we do get our holographic token as well. What a phenomenal pack. That Tyvar Rexian treatment is uh, definitely a winner as we showcase them one final time. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a magical day. We appreciate each and every one of you like comment subscribe you know all that shenanigans and uh we'll see you soon in the next